Hey guys, it's Michelle here. I am at Macy's. I'm going to go in and try to return these shoes and I will keep you posted on how it goes back. I can already tell you like Macy's is nuts. Um, I think everybody is Christmas shopping right now. So we'll see. <laughs> So I just came out of Macy's and I don't have my mic on this or anything, but I just thought I would quickly uh, film this. We were doing good. The return took like two minutes and the woman was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened. And we're about to finish out the transaction and she goes, you know what? It probably would have been better just to send this directly back to the warehouse. That way they have to deal with it. And I'm like, we were so close. We were so close to this not being a big deal and then you had to do that, but it got better because, here, let me just hold my phone a little better here. We're, uh, my building is doing clothing collections for kids and so I decided to head over to the kids section and pick up a few items and I was able to get a jacket and two shirts and then I would guess it was like friends and family. So there was an additional amount off of that. And of course I got myself some chocolates. <laughs> I wasn't kidding about Del Taco. I'm legit going to Del Taco. Just a few little chocolates for me. I remember I, I said that I was going to um, do my advent calendar for myself. So <laughs> here's a good little start. So we'll do that. And uh, yeah, the, the parking lot here is crazy. So I hope I can get out <laughs> without incident, without incident. And I'm heading over to the good Del Taco. Okay guys, let me adjust this, my little, little thing. Uh, okay, so I just went through Del Taco. I got the number two, which I think is just the classic. I don't eat this stuff very often and so when I go through the drive-thru and I'm trying to figure out what I want I'm always like I don't know like the the classic I guess is fine but before I got into that it occurred to me that maybe you guys would want to see what I got for the clothing drive um I was asked to well not me but like everybody was asked to try to do like toys or clothes or something now I know you guys might judge this but I thought this was super cute <laughs> so I just got like a a basic little t-shirt and they're supposed to be unisex now when you talk unisex that means basically you got to go to the boys section um at least in my mind maybe i'm wrong but anyway this was really cute this is called univibe okay so if, if that ain't unisex i don't know what is so it's just a basic it's a very soft t-shirt okay and on the shoulder it says be nice play hard be nice play hard be nice play hard <laughs> and I just thought that was super adorable so there is that and yes oh hi <laughs> ruining the ceiling of my car and my ring why not so I did go to the clearance section of Macy's because I wanted to you know get as many things as I possibly could so this one this yes it's skulls it's like whatever I don't know why but I just thought it was really cute and these are supposed to be okay so here you go guys I'm so not a parent these are supposed to be like the size for middle school kids get my hair back <laughs> uh, for middle school kids so I hope I guessed correctly um I don't know and I figured worst case um, some of these clothes can be worn a little baggy for the style that they are so here's just another t-shirt this is actually a longer t-shirt and this is from epic uh, epic threads and yeah I just I just went with that this one's a little bit of a thinner t-shirt but you know figured that's okay then I was able to get a jacket which I was very happy about it's got a hood it's got like a, a gray you know like a cloth hood like a sweatshirt material and this is sort of you ever like see dickies the dicky uh jackets that's kind of what this is like what brand is this this is called this brand is ring of fire <laughs> never heard of that but anyway <laughs> it's a boxy black jacket and you know i i think if this had uh like a sweatshirt under it it could even double as like a winter coat in some regions and like or on some days here i guess i should say so um there is that i don't know if you can kind of see it's kind of weird doing this in my car <laughs> but it's just like a little boxy uh black jacket with a gray 
hood. So, and then she was like, do you want to keep the hangers? And I thought, you know, usually I say no. I'm like, no, nah, just, you know, recycle them for something else. Cause I got hangers beyond belief at home. But they did say they wanted household items as well. And the Macy's hangers are not bad. So I was like, yeah, throw them in. You know, maybe that will be useful for them as well. I'm going to take my chocolates out because I can see me accidentally. <laughs> Sorry, Charity. I'm not trying to be that person, but I want these, okay? <laughs> I want my chocolates, all right? So get this bag set up. So I'll drop those off later on today. Okay, now on to the good stuff here. So they gave me lots of hot sauce. Now, I only had Del Taco for the first time like a few months ago, and I've only had it once. <laughs> but it's so good. It's really, really good. Okay, so this is messy. Wearing pink today was a great choice. Sure. Here's the thing. I always get the sauce, but then I'm like, I can't wield the sauce in my car. <laughs> All right, so this is naughty if you are a food crazy person and you're like, oh, I got to eat healthy. I can't watch, especially a chubby woman, eat this, you know, food that's going to be awful for her. Click off. Click off. I ain't here for that story because I don't, like I said, I'm going to do my thing. So there's a burrito. I think it's just like classic. Maybe it's beef. Okay, so here. Mm. I don't even know why this is so good. I don't know what they do, how they do it, what's the secret. Oh, it is so good, y'all. Hold on one sec. <laughs> eh, eh, okay. I did get a diet soda. I know. It's a naughty, naughty day. <laughs> the drive up here, God, this is a, I'm not drinking all of this. I'm not that person. I don't ever drink soda. That's a diet soda, actually. So I'm gonna get all the hate for that, but that's okay. Amp up my comments section. I love it. <laughs> but the drive here wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great either. You know, it's I-25, what can you do? These are so good, these fries. And how weird to have fries in a burrito. I wanna come up with that. Anyway, while I'm stuffing my face, this isn't a mukbang. <laughs> or however you say that. Nobody ever knows how to say it. I have to go to Target next. You guys should, oh, if I remember when I pull it out of the trunk, I will show you how cheap this garland is that I ordered it online. It was so freaking cheap. And I mean, I didn't, it, it cost a good bit for what it is. Uh, and then I got it, it was like paper. And I was like, no, <laughs> you're getting this back Target. <laughs> so yeah, I got that to do. And then I got, I have a lot of editing. Okay, so let me just get a little down for my life. This is kind of gross because the outside of these packets, I'm like, I'm not like a super clean freak necessarily, but I am a little bit, you know, skittish around germs. <laughs> and this is just the outside of the packet going on to my food, but whatever. We'll just put it out of our mind. <laughs> you guys so this is this area that i'm in i used to live right down the road from here okay this is where the crazy psychotic neighbor was who incidentally apparently moved out shortly after i did another neighbor told me really but i haven't been back here in forever they put in a dutch brothers you guys okay a dutch brothers it's the happiest place on earth and i'm gonna go over there and get a coffee afterwards okay that sauce is getting, it's hitting now. I'm not dying. Not living either. <laughs> I guess that's purgatory, huh? Oh, they want my keys. So, this car that I bought. <laughs> Come on, keys. Oh, thank God. Um, It's an Audi, but I bought the base model you know, like the entry level Audi, it's a year old. And I ended up getting it for like the price, seriously guys, of like maybe a Passat, maybe a fully loaded Jetta. I, and just because I walked away numerous times. Okay, dude, I'm... Dude!
Okay, right there. Right there, that guy almost hit me. Oh my God. The guy, literally, that guy, I hope, yep, he's coming this way, here he is. That guy right there, just about backed into my car. Did you see him? Did you see him just like shrug, like whatever? Okay, I'm like shaking right now. Did you guys see that? Was that picking up? I'm gonna have to go back and look at the footage. That guy legitimately almost hit my freaking car. And I went to like hit my thing and because my keys aren't in the ignition, my horn wasn't working. So I couldn't get him to stop. He didn't hit my car, literally guys. He was like, like that close to my car. So I filmed him coming out. You know, it's one of the benefits of vlogging. But, um, what a jackass. And then he went by and was just like, so what was I saying? I was saying that I got this car, <clears throat> I got it used, but I got like an incredible deal on it because I kept walking away. Now, this car that I got, it came, you know, I, I got a good deal on it because the car was a year old when I got it, it was the service car. So it's the car that everybody would, uh, get if they it's the car that they would get if they were getting their oil changed or something like that i keep finding i just had my seat back and i just found again components from a lipstick like a liquid lipstick and there's another part of the component where i drop my keys right right down there, there's lipstick everywhere you see that that's that lipstick component i was telling you about i don't know if you can see all that lipstick all smear all over the place Okay, Audi, you couldn't clean out the car before you gave it to me? Seriously. I don't know who was in here. <laughs> like, crazy. Mm. I locked something on here. Oh, hi. Ooh. Oh, stop it now. Look at what I can do. Hi. So, the driver's in Colorado Springs. Just like anywhere. But here, people really don't think it's a big deal to ding up a car like people who are from here are like ah what's the big deal crack a windshield oh what's the big deal i guess because it happens so often i don't know but i think it's a big deal you get off my car you go off my car but um they also all have like really 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 heavily tinted windows <laughs> which i think is so cowardly so whatever I'm going to finish stuff on my face here. Head off to Target. Back to my hood. Out of this crazy place. What else? <laughs> okay, so I made it over to Target. I'm so glad that my car did not get hit. I tried to quickly look at that footage. And I it looks like... Because the light blares it out. So I don't think you could see... Like, how close he was. And the thing was, is that he... I'm in a regular car. And he's in a pickup truck. So, yeah, he would have hit my bumper or my, tru or my trunk or something like that first. But, like, <laughs> he has a bigger vehicle. And just now, just now, you guys couldn't see, but a car just went right through the parking lot and came really close to my car. What is wrong with people? Like, seriously, what is everyone doing? You guys might laugh or, you know, whatever. But here's the thing. There's something very disturbing about the fact that people do not have any consideration for others. This person just went flying through the parking lot. There are pedestrians and kids everywhere. And there go my keys again. <laughs> oh my God. Down by the icky lipstick. Why? God. Anyway, so I have been sipping on this little drink here that I got from Dutch Brothers. I think I'm about done. I can't believe I did this and that meal. That's a lot. But I ended up getting, um, what was this? The candy cane, candy cane something. And I asked the woman if she could make it with skim milk. And she goes, oh, we don't have skim milk. And she's going through all the milks. They have almond, they have coconut milk, they have soy milk. And she goes, and non-fat. And I was like, you know what? Let's do the non-fat. That'll be great. And I asked for very little whipped cream. You can't really see that, but they loaded it with whipped cream. But as far as the drink goes, it's good. It's very minty. It's more minty than you might expect. <laughs> like it, it tastes like a candy cane. 
right? So it's not like the peppermint mocha, because it's not a mocha. It's like an actual latte. It's like a peppermint latte. So um, the peppermint is so heavy in this that it, it almost has like a smoky flavor, which I'm a little concerned about. <laughs> Because somebody might come out and be like, Michelle, that's not peppermint. But, you know, even when you do, like, peppermint oil and you get a lot of that, how it, it, it almost, like, it's almost heavy. <laughs> Does that make sense? So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to grab my little thing out of the trunk and I'll show you this stupid garland that they sent me, okay? <laughs> so, there's the garland they sent me. It is so... Here, let me see if I can get... It's so cheap. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, for that price that I paid? No. Okay, guys. So as far as the vlog goes, I just went to the post office. I got my goddess provisions box. So I'm going to be filming that right from my car. Uh, and I also got some product, which I'm really excited about. And I think I will film that later. Today may as well just be all about filming and editing. And that's good. <laughs> So what a day, got all the errands run, uh, crisis averted, I filled my belly up with way too much stuff, <laughs> and I may even, uh, if I have time, I may even go over to the zoo and just walk around a little bit, I like doing that, um, but quick story about the zoo, I went up to the front and I asked, I said, you know, are there any rules about vlogging from the zoo? And the woman, who's very sweet, she's an awesome lady, but she got very serious and she says, oh no, you need permission to vlog in the zoo. And I was like, okay, well, I don't mind doing that. All right, well, this is who you contact and you'll have to have an escort while you're here. And I'm like, I'm sorry, what? An escort? Listen, people go around filming in the zoo all the time. <laughs> like, what is the big deal if I have a camera and I'm talking into it? Like, I don't know why I have to have an escort, but I don't know. That kind of bothered me a little bit. And I was like, I don't know about all that, <laughs> but, um, I don't know. So I guess I won't be filming inside of the zoo, but again, people take pictures. I've taken video inside of the zoo and posted it on Instagram and tagged them and they liked it. They loved it. So I'm not really sure if we just like misunderstood one another, if she thought I was going to do like this, like expose type thing on the zoo. <laughs> I don't know. It had the vlog really has nothing to do with the zoo. It's it, the vlog is supposed to be about me just going on about my day and talking to my audience. It's not like I'm trying to, you know, like expose the zoo or <laughs> anything of the sort. But anyway, I'm going to film the goddess provisions thing. I got to go drop the donations off. I didn't find any like good toys at Target. Uh oh Oh, and the Christmas section at Target was destroyed. It was destroyed. And special thanks to the dude that was helping me. I don't know if he'd want me to say his name, but he was so cute. And he was like running to the back trying to help me find things. And it just didn't work out. I mean, people are really like, who like picking the shelves apart. <laughs> so anyway, we'll just leave it there for today, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.